Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Starting in Access 2010, you can create data macros which will allow you to evaluate data as it is entered into the database tables. These macros perform the same function that stored procedures would within larger relational database applications, such as Microsoft SQL Server, for example. You can also create named data macros that can be called as a standalone macro would be. So to create a data macro, first display the table for which you want to create the data macro in the datasheet view. Next, click the Table tab within the Table Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. You can then select with which data event you want to associate the macro by clicking the desired event from the listing shown in the Before Events and After Events groups. Your choice will determine when this macro is run in the future. Now note that if macros have already been set for any of these events, they will appear as highlighted already within the ribbon. Next, the macro design window will appear, and you can then select the actions that you want to have occur when this macro is triggered in the future. Now when you're finished creating your macro, click the Save button in the Design window to save the data macro. Then you can click the Close button to return to the actual table. Now also note, you can create a named macro that's associated with the selected table, but not with any particular action that occurs within the table. These macros can be run by other data or standalone macros. To create a named data macro on the Table tab in the Named Macros group, simply click the Named Macros button, and then choose the Create Named Macro command from the button's drop-down menu. You can then create the macro as normal, using the actions available in the Add New Action drop-down. You can also create parameters, if needed, in your data macro. Parameters allow you to pass values to a named data macro so that they can be evaluated. You can also use them to pass object references from a standalone macro to a data macro. To add a parameter to a data macro, click the Create Parameter hyperlink at the top of the macro. 
Next, in the name box, type a unique name for the parameter. That will be the name that you use to refer to the parameter in your expressions. You can also optionally type a description for the parameter into the description text box. This is recommended because in the future when you use the parameter, the description text that you enter here will be displayed as a tooltip. So this helps you remember the purpose of the parameter. Then in the future you can run a named data macro from another macro by using the run data macro action that's provided in Access. The action provides a box for each parameter created within the data macro so that you can give it the necessary values. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.